ha llegado la hora de la recuperación económica y necesitamos. On August 4th, Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro was apparently the target of an assassination attempt. Maduro was giving a speech here, in front of troops. Then something exploded in midair, probably less than the length of a football field away from the president. A second explosion happened 14 seconds later, two blocks away. The day ended in mayhem and mass confusion. And it's still unclear who launched the attack. But by reconstructing the events, we can get a clearer look at how it unfolded. La Guardia Nacional Bolivariana. Hundreds of soldiers take formation on historic Avenida Bolivar in Caracas. Maduro is hosting a ceremony honoring the National Guard. It's a demonstration of strength for his dictatorship, broadcast live on state TV. About an hour into the event, Maduro and others nervously notice something above them. Two minutes later, something suddenly interrupts him. The state broadcast cuts to a soldier. But the same scene was captured by a different camera. In this clip, you can hear an explosion and see Maduro's bodyguards running to protect him. Around this area, cell phone video captured a drone exploding in midair. Above the military parade and within Maduro's sight lines. Two blocks away, another drone is seen. It flies into an apartment building and crashes. It detonates 14 seconds after the first explosion. The sound can be heard at the ceremony grounds. And it sends the crowd fleeing. Fue una explosión muy grande. Eso parecía que hubiese habido un terremoto. Los edificios de nosotros se estremecieron. You can see a hole on the wall where the drone exploded. We analyzed the images of both drones. They are DJI M600 commercial drones. Each costs about $5,000. They can carry up to 13 pounds in a three mile radius. Here we see a likely camera and explosives attached. According to the Venezuelan authorities, the drones carried C4 plastic explosives. These are commonly used by military and law enforcement. They are moldable and usually triggered remotely. Seven soldiers were injured by the explosion at the parade. In the aftermath of the incident, authorities arrested six people and started to crack down on opposition lawmakers. 